Industry and academia have not been talking to each other. 96% of chief academic officers say they're doing a good to very good job of educating the next generation of workforce. On the other hand, over 33% of the folks that are in industry say you're not doing a very good job higher education. Huge gap. We took this into our own hands and I went to IBM and we said we'd like to use your technology to bring industry and academia together to define the future of business education. At IBM, when we first uh, thought about doing these way back when in 2001, we liked the notion of jazz musicians who come together to create some spontaneous music you know, based on their talent, like really cool music. So that concept was what we kept in the back of our mind as we started to think about the notion of coming together in an almost a spontaneous fashion to collaborate on very important challenges and issues. So the JAM really stands for that concept. Again, of jazz musicians coming together to create something beautiful. A JAM is an opportunity for anyone in the world to either propose a thread of conversation or join a thread of conversation and it allows multiple set of ideas to be quickly integrated and synthesized so that we can identify dominant themes. One of the most important things I've learned is that the power of ideas can come from anywhere. The big challenges, I think, are how do we create a stronger intersection between business and business schools. I think nearly everyone believes that we have to reimagine management education. If we don't get our act together collectively as business schools to make sure we're preparing the next generation for employers who are a very big customer of ours, we run the risk of reducing the relevance that we have, the level of respect we receive, and our reach will go down as well. We're also uh, talking about ways of um, adapting um, the way we teach in an environment where obviously technology is more important. The jam has gone well beyond my expectations, both in terms of the number of participants, but also my biggest surprise is the quality of contributions that we've gained over the last three days. Once the jam concludes, we provide Boston University with all the raw data. All the words, all the communications, all the posts, all the threads. And we'll use other text mining tools to crunch the data to provide Boston University with a certain number of ideas that were represented in the jam. So we really wanted to have an open conversation, not necessarily to say that we have the final answers, but it's the beginning of trends. What we know is that this conversation cannot be stopped, and this conversation should not be stopped. We must do this, individually as business schools and collectively, to ensure our future. This isn't a discussion that just ends at the end of the jam. It's going to be ongoing, my sense is, for years and years and years to come.